Africa, and we had meetings with Disco management at Disco head office that took almost the whole day yesterday, ended in late in the night yesterday, and early in the morning today, we continue to engage with them. We told Disco that if they hold a, 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 a town hall meeting, and in the hour, uh, they should hold it from Murungushi. We actually offered them that they hold the Indaba from a community space, but Vesco indicated that they couldn't hold it from a community space and instead offered Murungushi as an alternative for an Indaba on the road shedding and a town hall, which is what people have been saying that we should engage Vesco. After we agreed on this particular Indaba and town hall, Vesco went back on their way and said that instead of an Indaba, we are going to provide a bus that is going to carry 20 people and take them to Siavonga for a tour in Siavonga. As much as the holiday would be nice in Siavonga, it is not a grievance that the people are sharing. And we feel that offering us a holiday or a tour or whatever it is they want to call it in Siavonga is means of pacifying us and taking us away from a cause. The protest notice that we gave is that hundreds of citizens will show up outside Zesco. To then offer in the return for us to not show up with the protest a bus with 20 people is merely dismissing and disregarding the concerns that people are sharing. Then we told them that in exchange, instead, we reduced and said, since we don't, we don't want to hold an Indawa, you are afraid of engaging your own customers. Perhaps the alternative would be that a press briefing be done where you are going to have a live press briefing and address citizens, customers, you and I, about the road shedding, the erratic schedules that we don't know how they operate, about the medium-term measures, the long-term measures, such as what happens if we still experience a drought next year and it doesn't rain. What are the measures that ZESCO is putting in place?